Okay, here we are going to do a demo cut on some gussets. These gussets I ended up using for a rack I was building. Uh, wall mount, those are the same ones. This is the same bracket you saw that I just used on my press brake. Broke them up, but um, these are gonna be the little gussets. As you can see, I have already cut eight of them uh, a couple days ago. So we're gonna cut two more right here. Um, banking it off the lower left corner, as you can see, right here and uh, real simple all we're gonna do is hit start at the top and shield our face so I got my welding helmet down here uh, shield us from the arc I'll put the phone right above it so we can see keyboard and mouse all I'm gonna do is just hit start and things should happen Coming down, touching off the plate, like I had mentioned, limit switch is gonna trigger at the top. So, I have my two gussets here. Uh, let me grab my needle nose. This should be over here, not over there. Uh, let's move the torch out of the way. Sorry, I'm trying to do a couple things at once here. Now, you saw on the re Z retract height that uh, things look like a couple little funky. The Z wasn't coming up as, enough of what it needed to to clear the plate. It was coming up, but uh, probably not a comfortable zone of uh, being safe and happy. So I have actually adjusted that in the post processor. And here we have a nice cut. This is the PowerMax 1000 from Hypertherm. All our cut tolerances are there, perfect. Everything um, worked. So I guess maybe the next video I show you is my new and updated program. This is, this is everything I was doing first cuts. That was actually my first project and it worked out great. Um, this was the first thing I did cut and then I went and cut those uh, long slats you see back there that I bent up. Um, so yeah, maybe next video I do is a newer program uh, with my newer G-code update. Um, you saw how real simple uh, B, C, and C was. All I did, uh, beginning of the program, off video, I uh, banked it off to where I wanted to cut and went into B, and C, B, C, and C, uh, re zeroed my plate. You can see X0, Y0, Z0 all went to zero, and then I simply hit start. Um, be another training video on that here in a bit on how to get things going, but that was a real quick uh, cut example. Uh, you can see some of the Z retract heights, you can see some of the uh, limit switch sensing, uh, plate detecting, and it was riding that perfect distance that uh, Hypertherm wants for this uh, 11 gauge cold roll with that uh, consumable list. Cool, thank you, have a good day.